Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade, and welcome back to just another game, Resident Evil 4. Now that we've finished Leon's story, all of this bonus content opens up. Now, this being the Wii edition, this includes all of the bonus content from the PlayStation 2 version and the GameCube version. The PlayStation 2 had separate ways and assignment ADA, and the GameCube version had the mercenaries. Now, I believe the PlayStation 2 version may have also had the mercenaries. I could not tell you for sure. But the GameCube was the version that I owned, so the mercenaries is the only bonus content I've ever played. It's kind of a neat little mode. Uh, it lets you take control of different characters that have different strengths and weaknesses, different loadouts, and see how long you can hold off against an endless wave of Las Plagas. But what I was really interested in when I started the Wii Edition was separate ways. Separate Ways tells the story of Ada Wong and what she's doing in Spain behind the scenes and how she's indirectly helping Leon make progress in his fight against Las Plagas, Los Illuminados, you know, what have you. Being that we've finished the main game, we've seen the main story, there should not be any spoilers here, and I figured it'd be great to do this as bonus content just to kind of, you know, tie up all the loose ends that maybe we're left hanging from Leon's story. So let's take a look. Plus, Ada is a badass. Like, she's one of my favorite characters in this series. And she's the hot. The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. And here comes another fan favorite character. Although I'm not as big a fan of this guy as I am Ada. Such a badass. So I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. Yes, but nobody remembered to roll out my red carpet. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. Hmm. Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. So, it should be pretty obvious what point in the story we're starting with. Leon just arrived, and uh, the villagers are kind of pissed about that. If we go back to mission objectives, it just takes us to this screen. There's no documentation. I don't think we can swap. So, uh, yeah, here's our objective. We need to get to the church to ring the bell. We remember that happening during Leon's story. That gate, that gate, and that gate are all blocked. And the goal of this first chapter is to hold out against your own siege event, much like Leon, until uh, you have the opportunity to grab a key. So let's get started. We have, if I can open inventory, there we go. We have a handgun, a shotgun, and one full heal. Also, our health bar is tiny. Ada is very fragile compared to Leon. And we don't have much of an inventory space. We will have the opportunity to buy more weapons and more inventory space later on when we reach a merchant. However, the one thing that 
Leon can do that Ada cannot is upgrade weapons. Ada cannot upgrade any weapons. On the plus side, any weapons that she gets are slightly upgraded to begin with. Ow. Yeah, we're back doing this, are we? Yep. I am here. I am a woman. I am a small Asian woman. Run away. So you're going to kind of be moving from spot to spot, trying not to get cornered as best as you can and survive against wave after wave after wave until an event happens. And I will point out what you're looking for. Throughout this portion of the game, you are going to see... Ow, I need to shoot those out of the air. You're going to see um, cutscenes that tell you Leon's progress. And Leon's progress is your progress, essentially. Uh, I kind of don't want to use my full heal, but I don't think I have a choice. <sighs> kind of bad that I have to use this this early. You can upgrade Ada's health. In fact, there should be a yellow herb right here. I like being right. But the same rules apply. You need a green herb to be able to use it. And I don't have one of those. Ooh, dodge that. If you climb the tower, they will launch Molotov cocktails up at you, just like Leon's chapter. So don't do that. I learned that the hard way. Um... Kind of really need a green herb. Where is a green herb friend? The good news about this is Leon, in theory, if you're not like me, fights a chainsaw bro and you don't have to do that. You do not have to fight a chainsaw bro. Which is good because I think Ada would die very quickly. Take the handgun ammo. Still looking for a green herb. We got a chicken egg. That's a plus. Come on. Uh, Ada, I am down. There we go. Shotgun shells will help. We got some handgun ammo. I, uh, I think they're going after me. They looked, yep, yeah, they're, here they come. They looked like they were going after Leon, but they turn around and come towards you. I don't think you ever see Leon in this part. You just hear him. I mean, which makes sense. It would have been nice to see him directly, but I know why they didn't, because that would mean that Leon would see Ada directly, and we can't have that because. Spoilers. So I'm almost out of handgun ammo. Shotgun it is. I really should be spending more on the knife. But I don't have the healing to feel confident to use that. Oh, speaking of healing, yes. Finally, some. Alright, uh, I need to find some more handgun bullets. I think there's probably some in this house. That is very rude, sir. Alright, here's the chainsaw bro that we're not gonna fight. Yes, take the handgun ammo. And we're gonna jump out. Yes, take the red herb. Excellent. We have a full heal now. A full heal and an increase. It's back up here. I don't think anyone's going to spawn behind us. Alright, take the opportunity here. Let's use the trick I learned in the main playthrough to make a super herb. And... No, we're not going to use that yet. Um, don't want to swap back. I've got more shotgun shells than anything else, really. Aha! That's the event we're really looking for. There's a sparkly up there. 
Let's make our way immediately to that house. Uh, let's pay attention to where we're going and why we're going there. Uh, okay, let's immediately backtrack. We're gonna have to fight our way through. I was hoping we could kind of skip that a little bit. I was wrong. I am just really glad that I do not have to fight that chainsaw bro. I am glad you are all gathered up for me. This is the best situation. And goodbye to all of your heads. Oh, uh, here you come. A new challenger has arrived. Let's run through here. If we run here, we should get a prompt. Hook shot, let's go. Whee! Now we're on the roof, and we get the insignia keyed. The chicken had it all along. We should know exactly what to do with that. But before we... Oh, get off me. I jumped right into a nest of them. Fortunately killed one of them. Before we go, I was going to kill those guys, but uh, let's just get out of here. And I have the key for it. Use it. Use the insignia key. Leave. We got pretty much everything of interest, really. So I don't feel too bad about leaving some stuff behind. There would be like, uh, I think the only thing I can really remember. God damn it. Um, the only thing I can really remember leaving behind that we might miss is uh, an incendiary grenade. But I don't want to spend a lot of ammo to go back and get that. Come on, snakey boy. Why is it always snakes? I'm going to miss this damn snake. I want your egg. Stop sidewinding over there. Come on, snake. Why are you so difficult? Why do you want to eat me and then, or bite me and then leave. Did I just... I just killed a merchant. Trying to get this damn snake. Crap. <laughs> oh no. I, uh... Snake, you are a troll. You know what? Screw it. You get to live. Uh, I did not think you could kill a merchant. Especially with one swing of a knife. Oops. Alright. Well, let's go. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Alright, green herb. Yes, we'll take that. Actually, let's go ahead and use it. Uh, I got two green herbs. Good. Okay. Open. Open it. I hope that merchant doesn't like, you know... All merchants turn hostile. Uh, okay, run. Apparently. Yes, we'll take those two along the way. Yes, we'll take that. TMP. Always love TMP ammo. Take the green gem. Take shotgun shells. Hey! Scared! the crap out of me I was not expecting you to be right there oh wow well there's your jump those of you who have been waiting for one okay now it's a Resident Evil game got the crap scared out of me problem with the villagers is they are really quiet and I bet that TMP ammo would be great you know if I hadn't killed the merchant 
across the deep. Ah! We're leaving. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, finally got some opportunity to use my knife. Good. She left me money. Anything in here? Fortunately, villagers don't know about loading screens. I guess I should reload. Okay, what have we got? Ariesta! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very angry. You got too much blood in you, please die. Ow! Ow! Okay. Alright. You know what? I'm trying to be cute and it's not working. That's too bad because I really wanted to be cute. I mean, Ada's plenty cute. Why can't these villagers just appreciate that? Okay, let's go over here. This looks like a nice defensible area. Perfect. Okay, he's gonna turn around and walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like you either. Hi. You know what would improve your face? Not having one. Oh yeah. Sick burn. Goodbye to your face. Ooh, you dropped an herb. I like you. Too bad you died. Um, yeah, we're gonna swap back to the gun. That's very rude. I didn't insult your mother. Alright. You're down. Run away. Run, run away. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Ooh. Yes, we'll take that. At least these guys are giving me plenty of ammo. And I have read more about the ammo situation since I played the main game. Turns out I never saw any mine launcher ammo because I didn't have the mine launcher in my inventory and this game only drops ammo for what you have. Which is actually kind of a clever system. I do not appreciate being axed a question. No, I don't want one from you either. I wasted three bullets because perspective is a thing. Got the red gem. Get lots of treasure. Alright. Hi. Drab clothes. Perfect camouflage. Unlike my red dress. Come on. Are you coming or not? Um, we'll use this. Kind of really wanting that incendiary grenade right about now, but here we are. Okay, seriously. Thank you. Good. Handgun ammo, that's exactly what I wanted, really. I think there's one more. God knows I can't see him. Because I'm good at this. Alright. We do have some freedom, though. So let's explore this shack and see what we have in here. Apparently no snakes, which is good. I did not expect snake right then. Ooh, a yellow herb. I'll take that. Yes. I actually don't know how high you can get Ada's health in this part of the game. 
Obviously, it's probably not going to be as high as you can get Leon's health. But if we see yellow herbs, we're going to take them. Is that all the villagers? The music is still going. Which I would expect to stop if I'd killed everybody. But it's not. Okay, well. We'll deal with it. I get surprised and scream and everybody will laugh at me. Can I go in here? Won't budge. Okay, must be locked from the other side. The door won't open. It looks like there's something that may fit into this round indentation. Yes, there is. Namely, the insignia. But where are we going to find that? I believe we're in luck because it should be a lot closer than Leon found it. Should be right here. Operate. That looks familiar. Three family insignias of the Dead Ringers. Looks like it only turns clockwise in three or four increments. Four. Three. Three. Four. Three. I think I screwed this up. Three. Four. Let's just keep going. Three. Three. Uh, four. <laughs> four. Three. Screw it. Let's start over. Operate. I don't remember how I did this the last time. We need the M, the V, and the Z. Alright, let's actually... Let's go three to start. Then four. Four again. Um, three? No. Four. Four. <laughs> okay, now four. Alright, now three. Now three. Now four. Now three. <laughs> Crap. Uh, quit? <laughs> Crap. I forgot how you do this puzzle. <laughs> Alright. Um, four. Three. 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 Okay. Four. Um, hmm. <sighs> Crap. This puzzle should not be this hard. I am sorry, guys. You, but you are probably screaming the answer at me. And uh, yeah, here we are. All right. If I turn it three, and then four. Let's start with that. Three. Four. Okay, let's turn it four. Let's turn it four again. Three. Four. Alright, so now we have the two that we want lit up. Turn it four, it should go there. Then four again. And then three. We did it. I'm not a total derp. We got the rounded singia. And we also trapped ourselves in here. Also, I turned around for no reason. Fortunately, there's only two of them. Ducking will not help. Oh, I shot the shotgun game. That's not right. I clearly pressed the shotgun button. I demand more shotting and more gunning. 
You have way too much. Thank you. Oh, get off me, dude! That stupid lunge attack, at least I shattered your head. Alright, we're trapped in here. So the solution to this is, unless something is set in the mechanism, the bars won't open. Let's put something in the mechanism. Uh, I have several things to put in the mechanism. I would like to put... Why won't you let me do this properly? Uh, first, let's go ahead and heal because that flashing is getting on my nerves. And then... I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put one of the treasures, namely the green gem, in there. But maybe we don't actually have what we need to put in there yet. Okay, so this is interesting. Aliesta! Oh! Hi, Dynamite Boy. You know what? I'm okay with that. Thank you. That was very polite. I'm gonna shoot your kneecaps off. I love how your fuse does not go out until you die. Like that. Alright. So clearly we don't actually have what we need for that insignia, which means I wasted a lot of time doing that puzzle for no reason. Bye. <laughs> this is just the best right here. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but let's ex let's explore a little bit more and see if we can find what we need. And I did not get attacked by that snake, and I'm super stoked for that. Because maybe we need something else to put in that slot, which is probably going to be the thing that Leon finds. And I thought it was the green gem, but maybe not. Ah, that's what we're supposed to put there. And we actually have a chainsaw sister. Let's see if we can take her out like this. I would really like for her to get down in the hole, like her. But, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Yeah, she's just getting flung right back across. There she goes! We did it! That's all I wanted out of life. So yeah, this must be the item we actually need to put in the slot. The green cat's eye, that's right. I knew it was a green thing. All right, let's go back and put it in now. Which means we have to solve the puzzle, which means I actually have to remember how I solved the puzzle the first time. Jump over. Also, the music stopped, which I'm super happy about. Because that means that nothing is going to jump out and scare me. Like this game likes to do. All right, I have the thing that goes in the slot. I'm going to have to solve this puzzle again, apparently. Oh no! Okay, good. I can just take it. Now we can use this, because it's a key item and not a treasure. Put in the green cat's eye, Leon will get that later, and we're free. Let's head into the church. Oh, more of you, really? Let's just go inside and ignore them. Thank you. <laughs> Can't believe we made it all the way through without getting hit. Oh, we've interrupted them at worship. They're not going to be happy with us. At all. Seriously. Uh... Eee! Okay. Nice little sidestep, it won't help you. 
Door won't open, it's locked. I can hear someone whimpering on the other side. So that's where Ashley's at. Hi. Yes, I want to take the shotgun shells. What's wrong with me? Okay, they have to go the long way. They're all coming up the ladder. Which means I can safely fight with my back to this gate. Good. I mean, if you come in single file, I'm not going to complain. Uh, what do I have? Running low on the shotgun shells. I guess we're pistoling it. Also, I did not increase my health. I don't think I'm going to carry my inventory to the next chapter. I might. I mean, it would make sense. Get off me. Why did I not shatter your head? That's what I want out of life. I want to shatter your head. With a kick. Alright, you're dead. Let's operate this. Same puzzle. Let's... The red looks like it's in place. I think... Let's rotate it a little bit. Uh, actually... I think this looks more correct. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the green. I believe this is correct. And then the blue. Um, this. Alright, now let's combine them. Yay! I did it. I matched. Lowers the gates and rings the bell. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? And that's the end of the first chapter. So I am going to split these chapters up where it makes sense. I would like to do one chapter per video. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possess the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while.
and uh yeah this is just everything that she said so that's the end of the first chapter and like i was about to say i will try to split these chapters up where it makes sense i would like to stay within about 30 to 35 minutes at the most and there's only five of these scenarios to play through but if i feel like a chapter is going to go longer than that i will cut it anyways i hope you enjoyed the first one and i'll see you guys in the next chapter y'all have a great day later